I talked about a silent alphabet in an earlier video. This time, let's dive into the alphabet of sound words. Onomatopoeias are words that sound like the things they describe. Words like bang, sizzle and tweet. These are also known as sound words. English speakers have been using onomatopoeia for centuries. There's even a theory that all language originated in the imitation of natural sounds. Use onomatopoeia to paint a more vivid picture with your words. Or simply because they are so much fun. A is for achu or a tissue, the sounds of a sneeze. I learned a playground game as a kid of which the following verse is a part. Ring a ring a roses, a pocket full of posies, a tissue, a tissue, we all fall down. I remember reciting these lines, sneezing and then falling down at the end, which seemed like fun at that time. What I didn't know then was that this rhyme is associated with the great plague that happened in 1665. Apparently the first line refers to a rosy rash, a symptom of the plague. People believed that the disease was transmitted through odour, so they carried posies of herbs to ward off the smell. As the disease progressed, People would sneeze and cough and finally fall down dead. Which is what we acted out on the playground. Quite gruesome for a children's game, don't you think? B is for buzz, like the sound a fly makes. Here's a fly with a buzz from one of my favorite songs. A horse with no name by the folk rock band called America. The lyrics go, the first thing I met was a fly with a buzz and the sky with no clouds. The heat was hot and the ground was dry, but the air was full of sound. I've been through the desert on a horse with no name. It felt good to be out of the rain. In the desert, you can remember your name, cause there ain't no one for to give you no pain. La 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 <laughs> The musicians apparently tried to capture the hot dry desert as depicted in a Salvador Dali painting and a nameless horse from a picture by M.C. Escher. The band America, the surrealist painter Dali, the graphic artist Escher are all artists that I love and I can get a buzz just by soaking in their work. C is for cuckoo, <coughs> cough, clip-clop. Clip-clop is usually used to describe the sound a horse's hooves make on a hard surface. Though in the following poem, it describes the sound of people's footwear as they run. Pitter-patter, rain pouring under. Streets awash like tumult tundra. Lucid lightning flash. Clip-clop heels as people dash. D is for drip, drizzle. Ding dong! Have you heard the song Get Me to the Church on Time from the classic musical My Fair Lady? I'm getting married in the morning. Ding dong, the bells are gonna chime. E is for eek. Eo. Eo is the name of an old grey stuffed donkey in the Winnie the Pooh books by A. A. Milne. The onomatopoeic name imitates the braying of a donkey, otherwise written as hee haw. The R in the spelling is meant to be silent, as it often is in British English, like in shaw, better, and caw. F is for fizz, flutter, flip-flop. Flip-flops are simple rubber slippers that make a flip-flop sound when you walk in them. They are also known as Hawaiian slippers. G is for giggle, growl, groan, grumble, kafaw, gobbledygook. Gobbledygook means meaningless language or language made incomprehensible by the overuse of jargon or big words. The word gobbledygook is probably an onomatopoeia that imitates the gobble of a turkey. H is for hiss, hum, hiccup, howl, hush. Let me recite from a poem about snow. It shushes, it hushes, the loudness in the road it flitter twitters and laughs away from me. It laughs a lovely whiteness and whitely whirls away. I is for ick. It's the sound you make when you're disgusted by something unpleasant or offensive. It's kind of like yuck. She went ick when the lizard fell on her. 
J is for Jingle and Jangle. It's in the song called Jingle Jangle Jingle that is considered one of the top 100 Western songs of all time. A Western song celebrates the lifestyle of the American cowboy on the open ranges. I've got spurs that jingle jangle jingle as I go riding merrily along and they sing oh ain't you glad you're single and that song ain't so very far from wrong. K is for knock. Yeah, the K is silent but it's the perfect opportunity to tell a knock knock joke. Knock knock, who's there? A little old lady. A little old lady who? Hey, you can yodel. More on yodeling when we get to the letter Y. L is for Lub Dub. In the song titled Goodness Gracious Me, the millionaireess Sophia Loren comes to the Indian doctor played by Peter Sellers. So that he may diagnose why her heart goes boom booty boom booty boom booty boom. In Bollywood, of course, hearts go dhak dhak. But heard through a stethoscope, English speaking hearts go Lub Dub, Lub Dub, Lub Dub, Lub Dub. M is for meow, moan, murmur. A person speaking softly can be said to be murmuring. In poetry, even a brook can murmur, as Alfred Lord Tennyson showed us. I murmur under moon and stars in brambly wildernesses. I linger by my shingly bars, I loiter round my cresses. And out again I curve and flow to join the brimming river. For men may come and men may go but I go on forever. Not just certain words in it, but the entire poem is onomatopoeic, as it evokes the rhythm and flow of a brook. Tennyson's brook may go on forever, but we have come to the end of part one of this video on the A to Z of onomatopoeias. Watch out for the concluding part. Meanwhile, do subscribe to me on YouTube. I'm the English Nut. Bye for now.